This is going to be a tutorial on how to use the in-game editor in Football Manager. And I'm showing this currently in Football Manager 2024. However, the in-game editor hasn't really changed over the years. So whether you're playing on an earlier version of Football Manager or even a later version on Football Manager, it's unlikely that the in-game editor will have changed that much. So this tutorial should still work for you. And at this point, I have done a lot of Football Manager experiments. So I'm going to show you how to use the in-game editor. So if you want to make something different in your save or try your own Football Manager experiment, hopefully you'll be able to do that. So I'll show you things like how to give a TV deal to a nation, how to make a perfect player, or even how to give the maximum youth rating to a nation. So we're going to go through how to set all of that up amongst other things by going through how to use the in-game editor. So I have a list of things I'm going to go over here, um, but I'm also for like really big topics, I will provide timestamps in the description. So if you're looking for something specific, if there's a timestamp for it in the description, you can just go straight to there. But things for that we're gonna cover. First, we're gonna go over how to enable and disable the in-game editor. So this is actually something you can do in-game even after you've started a save. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over then how to modify players, then how to modify clubs, then how to modify leagues and or competitions. We'll go over how to modify nations after that. And finally, we'll talk about some things that you can do with the editor to yourself as a manager. So to start off, let's talk about how to enable and disable the in-game editor. So I'm at the beginning of a save here. And just looking at the home screen, this is the signifying factor for the in-game editor. So this is the FM in-game in editor. It's just a little pencil icon kind of towards the top right hand corner. And if I click on it, we can see that it in fact works. However, this is actually something that I can modify. So to enable or disable the in-game editor, you will go to your FM and you'll go to preferences. And in preferences, you'll see this little search bar at the top hand corner or at the top of the, of the preferences screen. So if you type in editor there and you click search, you can either show or disable showing the in-game editor in the menu bar. So if you wanna disable the in-game editor, just unclick that, click confirm, and as you can see, the in-game editor is no longer there. But if at any point you wanna bring it back, really easy, just go back to preferences, type in editor, look for that, click on show the in-game editor, press confirm, and you have the in-game editor. So that is how you enable and disable the in-game editor in FM24. So next, we're going to use the in-game editor to actually modify a player. So we're going to take our player here, Enric, who's Spanish, and we're going to go into the in-game editor and see what we can do here. So first thing is, if you just click on the in-game editor and you click on start editing, you can edit at this point anything on this screen. So at this point, you can go in, edit his age by changing his birth date. You can edit his nationality and you just say, I wanted to make him um, Filipino. So I could just type in the Philippines. I could unclick or click it. So I'll just click it, press OK. And now we have a Filipino Enric instead of a Spanish Enric. Additionally, you can change his wages. You can change his contract expiration date. You can change his contract. Um, you can change his value and things like that. But I think the probably the most interesting thing on here is, of course, you can change his attributes. So we have all the attributes here. And let's say I wanted to make him a more perfect player. I could go in, change that attribute to 20. You click Stop Editing. And now he has 20 for corners. And you can do that for every attribute here. The other thing that you can do is, let's say we made a perfect player and we wanted him to be perfect throughout his career. You can go in and freeze his attributes. So this will make sure that the game doesn't adjust his attributes and he will stay with whatever attributes he has currently for his entire career. So all you need to do is click that. And if you want to check, just make sure that's clicked and you've got everything all set. Some other things that you can do, you can edit his personal details. So let's say you wanted to change the name. Maybe you wanted to be in the game and you wanted to create a player with your own name. You could easily go in and change the name of the player here. And you also need to change the common name. So let's say I wanted to make a Filipino FM player. We have a Filipino FM player. You can go into the nation. You can declare him for the nation and things like that. 
Um, something that you might want to do if you're needing a work, if you're really frustrated with work permit rules, you can actually add a second nation. So let's say you're in England, you have a player and you're really frustrated because they can't get a work permit and you feel like maybe the game's bugging you out and you feel like they deserve a work permit. All you need to do is add in, you go into nationality, select a second nation for them. So this won't affect them in any way. They won't, they won't change the nation or anything. And, you know, just add them to a second nation, just get them in England, press OK. And now they're eligible for that nation or they have that nationality, so they won't need a work permit anymore. And I think the last thing that's kind of really interesting here is you can edit the player's hidden details. So if you wanted to go through and like change his personality, all of the hidden attributes in here, you could change that. You could change the position that he plays and you can make him trained at the club or even trained in the nation. And now perhaps the most interesting thing is if you wanted to say keep, if you were doing an experiment where you wanted to keep the perfect player at one team for an extended period of time, the way to do that would actually be counterintuitively to move them to another club. So if you go into a team here and you go to move other club, and let's say we wanted to move him to a club in the Philippines. So let's say we wanted to move him to United City. You would click there, you would find the club, you would press OK. So now he's at the club. However, once he's at a club, let's go to move to another club. Let's go to Cebu, click OK. And now you can set a transfer date. So I'm going to set this date out years on into the future. And now Filipino FM is stuck at United City until 731 2028 when he moves to Cebu, Cebu, Queen City United. So if you are doing an experiment where you want a player to stay at the club for as many years as you can, set them to have a future transfer arranged to another club way out into the future. Keep using the in-game editor to extend that transfer date further and further on into the future. And that will keep a player at a club for as long as you want them to be there. So I think that's everything as far as modifying a player in the game. So now let's move on to what you can do with a club. So here we have a club. <laughs> we have Manchester City. So again, you would go to the club and if you wanted to do anything, you would go to the in-game editor. And there's a few things that you can actually change here, but I think the biggest things are gonna be editing the club details. And the big things that normally people change are editing their reputation. So this goes from 10,000 to one. So 10,000 being the highest and one being the lowest. So if you wanted to give a club the max reputation, you would just type in 10,000 here. You can also change things like their morale, club attendance, etc. Other things that you can do include facilities. So if you wanted to give a maximum seat stadium, you can go all the way up to 150,000. So just under stadium, go to capacity, seating capacity, just change all of these things here to 150,000. Additionally, you have training facilities, youth facilities, junior coaching, youth recovery, corporate facilities. So if you wanted to change the facilities of the club, so training, youth facilities, etc., all you have to do is go in here and you can change all of these to 20 and that club will have perfect facilities. You can also set up affiliations for the club. So you can just designate different affiliations here and what type of affiliation it is. If they're the kind of bigger club, you, you'll just check is main club. If they're the smaller club, you will uncheck is main club. And there you can set up affiliations if you wanted to. Additionally, if you wanted to give a club a huge bank balance, you would go into the finances section and just change their bank balance or give them a bigger transfer budget, so on and so forth. So in experiments where I give a billion pounds to a Filipino club, I'll just change their bank balance to a billion pounds. You could also uh, change different income types and things like that. So if you wanted to give a club maybe a sponsor or something, you can just add a new sponsor and I think it's this one. You can add a new sponsor and change the value. So let's say we wanted to give a 200 million pound sponsor. The start and end date is when it starts and when it finishes. So usually people want to do this by year. I don't know where that just went. So normally people just want to do this by year. So I would change that probably to 2024. If this is a one-time thing, you wouldn't click anything else. But if you wanted to renew the income and keep that fixed value, you will click on that. So this means that that 200 million will renew every year. So Manchester City would be getting that income every single year. And finally, you can select the type of income, whether it's uniform sponsor, stadium sponsor, general sponsor, TV deal, so on and so forth. 
But that is pretty much everything for a club. Um, I guess if you also wanted to put a club in debt, you could do that here and you would do it the exact same way. But that is everything for how to modify a club using the in-game editor. So now that we've done that, let's talk about what to do with a league. So again, you'll go to that league. There isn't a whole lot you can do with a league, but you can edit the competition details. For the most part, I think the kind of biggest thing that people do here is edit the reputation of the league. So again, this goes from one to 200, 200 being the highest, one being the lowest. So for example, if I wanted to tank the reputation of the EPL, I would change that to one. If I wanted to give it a good reputation again, I would bring it back. I think the biggest thing, though, that people do with leagues is how to give a league or a nation a giant TV deal. So, for example, I'm going to go to the Philippines Football League and I'll show you guys how to do a TV deal there. So as you can see here, I'm at the Philippines Football League and on this screen, you can't actually give an individual TV deal. So there are seven clubs, let's say I wanted to give a 1.4 billion pound TV deal to the Philippines Football League. What you actually have to do is go into each club individually and again, go to that finances section, go to income, and then set up an individual TV deal for each club. So if I wanted to set up a 1.4 billion pound TV deal, I would go into each club individually. And all I do at this point is I just copy that. You're going to go to each year for it. So keep it at renew income, fixed value, individual TV deal. And you'll go into each club and do that. So you do that with like the Ask House development team here. And then I would go and do that for dynamic um, Herb Cebu football club. So I'd go in, just paste that amount, do the exact same year, designate it as an individual TV deal and renew that income at fixed value. So to set up an individual TV deal for a nation, you will do that for every single club in that league. If you just want to do it for one club, obviously you could do it for one club. But to set up an individual TV deal for a nation, such as videos that I do, or maybe that Tom FM does, all you'll do is you'll go into each individual club in that league, set up an individual TV deal of a fixed amount, click on fixed value, click on renew income, and that is how you set up that individual TV deal. So I think that's everything as far as leagues are concerned. Now we'll move on to nations. So nations are very similar. So you'll go to the nation. So here we have the Philippines and we'll go into edit nation details. And here you can do quite a bit. You can change their reputation. You can change their maximum minimum tendence. You can change their developing states, whether they're developing or developed state. So if you wanted to make it better, you would make them a developed state you would maximize out their, rec uh, their reputation. You would increase their economic factor. So an economic factor essentially means that they have the money to have resources, build soccer in the nation, build football in the nation. So that goes from one to 20. So you would put that at 20. You would also want to increase the federation financial power. You can also maximize the national stadium. So for the Philippines, it's the Rizal Memorial Stadium. If you were doing this for England, it would be Wembley Stadium. But again, you could make this a 150,000 capacity stadium. Generate Under the Generated Players tab, this is where you can maximize the youth rating. So youth rating goes from 1 to 200. So if I wanted to do an experiment where I was maxing out the Philippines youth rating, I would change this to 200. And then I would simulate forward into the future and see what the generated players there look like. I think the biggest thing of note that I want to mention here is that if you're changing a nation and you wanted to take a nation like the Philippines and completely max out their potential, you would want to change their reputation. You would want to maximize the attendance. You'd want to make them a developed state, maximize out their economic factor. You'd want to go into the facilities and maximize the stadium, and you would want to give them the maximum youth rating. The one thing that you cannot do in the in-game editor, though, that you can only do in the pre-game editor is something called the match importance. So the match importance is essentially like how big is football in this country? So in a nation like the Philippines, football isn't huge, so the match importance would be really low. But for a nation like Brazil, match importance is really high. So they would have a high match importance. Essentially though, that means they're gonna generate more good players. So the combination of maximum youth rating and match importance is really important for nations. So if you really wanted to maximize the potential, that is something that you would need to do in the pre-game editor 
in conjunction with what we're currently doing in the in-game editor. But on that note, that's pretty much everything for nations. So I think the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about what you can do for yourself in a save, and then that will be everything for the in-game editor. So if you go to your home screen and let's say you're, you're going into the future, you've simulated forward, you don't want to deal with the interviews or you're unemployed, you can actually move yourself to another club or another national team. And the way to do that is similar to how you would transfer a player. You just go to move other club, you would type in the club, click on them, and you would become the manager of that club. And that's all you would do. And I guess the other thing is, if maybe you were doing some experiment or something, you can also become, I have this as unfireable, it might be unsackable in your save, but you can also make yourself unsackable if you're on a team that maybe was really bad or something and it you never wanted to get fired, so that way you could keep doing the save long-term. Um, or if you're doing some experiment where you didn't want to be sacked, you can make yourself unsackable and all you do is click that. I'm obviously not on the team, so it doesn't really work, but just go in, make sure that's clicked, and that's all you need to do. But that's pretty much everything and how to use the in-game editor in Football Manager. I think that's a pretty comprehensive tutorial of how to use it. Again, if there's anything you want to go back on and look on specifically, I'll leave links to or timestamps in the description for some of the kind of big things like how to do a TV deal and things like that. But otherwise, that's everything I've got. I also have a tutorial on how to use the pre-game editor. I will show that now. So if you want to use the pre-game editor, you can check out that tutorial for how to load leagues such as the Philippines Football League that are not currently in the game. But otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you all found this video helpful, and I will see you all next time. Bye!